Hey guys, Nardi here. So I just wanted to come on real quick and give you guys an update on what's going on on, on my YouTube channel in reference to bodybuilding and how I'm doing with that. So first of all, I am still training. I'm still prepping for that. Right now, um, the difficulty with giving you guys the video is that I usually edit on my computer and I'm so busy right now with classes, clients, and training, trying to fit everything in my schedule with the kids and all of that, getting the content out to you by editing the videos and sending that to you is pretty difficult right now. So I'm actually using my phone, which is a different way for me to do it. Um, this way I can do it on the go or wherever I am. All right, so what's going on? The best way to know is to follow me on Instagram because I put snaps in my stories. I um, update my Instagram pretty much daily and sometimes I pop on there to do live video. Sometimes live video is hard to do on YouTube because I play music and then YouTube flags the video and then all this stuff. And right now I'm just trying not to get my channel messed up with YouTube, especially with them changing everything, all the rules and stuff like that. Um, so this is going to be a leg day video. I have a lot of other videos that I've shot that I just need to edit and send that or post that on my page. I'm in reference to my training, so I'm going to try to do that for you guys. Um, what I'm eating now is I started adding back carbs in my diet, so I'm eating fish, broccoli, or spinach. I have so much broccoli in my refrigerator, too much that I bought. So I'm actually trying to transition from broccoli to spinach, so I need to finish the broccoli. So broccoli, um, fish, <laughs> cod fish, white fish, any white fish, cod is just so happened to be the cheapest. So that's what I'm doing. So cod, broccoli or spinach, and I'm using um, sweet potatoes. I added back carbs because my muscles were a little bit soft. I needed my muscles to show a little bit, get a little bit more definition um, in reference to building on that. And having no carbs was not helping that because you know you need the strength, you need the energy, and you need the definition, and carbs will help with that. So I'm doing about six to eight ounces of protein. I'm eating five to six times a week, a uh, week, five to six times a day. And then I'm also doing um, carbs in every other meal. And this is what I eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So if you guys ask me what, what my meals are, this is exactly what I'm eating. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And again, carbs in every other meal. Um, I'm gonna post the, link, the links of uh, the supplements that I'm using right now, and you guys can have that information. I hope you enjoy the leg day video. We focused on hamstrings, 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 and more hamstrings, all right? Oh yeah, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram. Okay guys, so I'm using resistant bands for the majority of the workout we're doing lightweight so this is 95 pounds that I have here and I have the resistant band for added tension I'm doing slow controlled rep this is the exact um, tempo that I'm using throughout the entire workout so we're super setting these first two moves first move is stiff leg deadlift all right again slow and control nice easy tempo I also have my feet elevated to engage my hamstring more and give me a deeper range of motion uh, we're going to superset um, the stiff leg deadlifts straight to banded RDLs. So you're just going to use just the band. I have the band shortened um, to the tension that I like. I'm squeezing as I come up. I'm doing about 10 reps. For this exercise, it is very difficult sometimes with your balance. So you just work on your balance, keeping your core nice and tight. So uh, let me go back. Stiff leg deadlifts, I'm doing 15 reps. And for this one, I'm doing 10 and the entire workout is pretty much broken down like that, 15 and 10. All right, we are supersetting sumo squats with good mornings. I have my feet elevated. I'm still using the resistant band. Again, you adjust the tension on the resistant band however you feel comfortable. I'm still using the 95 pound uh, barbell here. I use the 95 pounds throughout the entire workout. So, 
And then from here, we're gonna go straight into good mornings. I still have my feet elevated for the good mornings on the second and third set for the good mornings. I did uh, take my feet down off of the plate because as you know, I have pins in my foot. So sometimes this does, having my toes elevated does not help me. Again, you wanna make sure you're squeezing those glutes, hinging at the hips, keeping the core nice and tight. All right, so we're gonna be supersetting sumo deadlifts right here with kickbacks. All right, I'm gonna be using the cables for the kickbacks. Right, for the cable kickbox, I'm using um, 30 pounds on each side, so about 60 pounds. All right, so kicking back, squeezing the glutes as you go back, keeping that core nice and tight, and you're getting a little bit of lower ab workout in here as you bring in the knee forward. I'm doing 10 reps on each side for the superset, and then we're gonna go into um, decline dumbbell hamstring curls so because I'm not at a gym I'm using my garage gym here my garage studio we are using um, dumbbells to help with those hamstring curls so I come up nice and quick and then try to go down as slow as possible I'm using a 25 dumbbell 25 pound dumbbells and I am doing 15 reps 